Greetings to my church family. We as a staff want you to know that we miss you. And it seems like it's been more than two weeks since we've been together. And because it's going to be several more weeks before we're able to gather in the sanctuary and worship together, uh, we pastors decided over the next few weeks, about midweek, we would post a new video every week, uh, just giving a word of encouragement or a word of instruction to you. Uh, before I share the word of encouragement today, I just want to remind you that if you have a need that comes up, maybe it's a need for groceries or or um, a need of, for a word of encouragement, uh, please call the church office and we'll do the best we can to, to meet those needs. Uh, what I'd like to share now is a, a time that Jesus' first followers were going through a trial, going through a crisis, going through a storm in their lives, and, and how Jesus uh, met that need and cared for them through that storm. Uh, the incident is recorded in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. And in that incident, Jesus and his disciples are on a boat in the middle of the Sea of Galilee, and a terrible storm comes up. The storm is so violent that these, um, these weathered fishermen are afraid they're going to drown. They think they're going to die. And Jesus is in the boat with them, but he's sleeping. And so the disciples, in the, in the midst of this raging storm they're facing, uh, they go to him and wake him up, and they ask him a, seems like a, a silly question. They say, Jesus... Don't you care that we're going to die? Well, Jesus looks at the storm and, and with a word, he rebukes it and the storm is calmed. And so in this passage in Mark 4, Jesus shows that he has power over the storms in our lives. Now, there are a lot of things I could say about this storm and this uh, passage, but I just want to make three observations that hopefully will help us as we go through this coronavirus uh, storm of our own. The first thing I want to point out is that um, that Jesus does care. When the disciples were facing their storm in Mark 4, they wake him up and say, Jesus, don't you care? And of course, the answer is yes. And Jesus showed his great care for us by ultimately going to the cross and dying for us. So Jesus does care about the storm we're going through. The second observation I want to make is that whatever storm that we face in life, and it happens to be the coronavirus this time, Jesus is in the boat with you. If you've asked Jesus to be your Savior, he'll never leave you or forsake you. And so I want you to know that as you go through this crisis, you don't go through it alone. Jesus is quarantined with you. The third reflection I would like to make is that Jesus has the power over the storms in our lives. He can either calm the storm that we're going through, or he'll give us the grace to go through the storm. No storm is too great. He can control nature. He can control everything that we uh, face. So please, as you go through the next few weeks and you wonder where God is, know that one, he cares for you. Two, he's with you and that he has the power to see you through this storm. Hope to see you in church Sunday.